Hey everybody, you all wanted a shop tour. I had a lot of people comment about it, so I'm gonna do a quick tour of my shop. It is a mess right now because we got projects and everything going on, but we'll just go through it anyway, and then whenever we get it cleaned up and some things put together, we'll uh, do another shop tour. Well, anyway, we just walked through the door there, and the first thing on the right is I got my all my uh, extension cords and hoses and things like that hung up. That's one of the videos we did here not too long ago. And then I've got just piles of stuff at the moment. So um, my <clears throat> CB project and this is my welding station. It's kind of full of this uh, M50 project here. But anyway, I got my old Forney welder and metal bench that I built. This thing weighs probably four or 500 pounds half inch thick steel and I use this I can ground clamp to and all that there's my torch I got this for free I actually found the bottle in the grass at a buddy's house and he said well we're not using it you can have it and this was quite a while ago I also got the hose and the gauges and the torch head and all that was with it for free and I run propane because I like it it's so much cheaper and acetylene burns just just fine works for me there's all plywood nine-sided inside this 24 foot grain bin and got some fluorescent tube lights up there and eye joists we actually give a buck a piece for pretty much everything you see in here um, as far as the wood goes they're 11 and uh, 11 and 11 something I don't remember what size they are they're almost they're almost 12 inches but anyway, 11 and 7 8 or something. But anyway, we gave a buck a piece for those, and we made the floor out of that because the second floor is actually going to be my wood shop. When this fall rolls around, we can get up there and take care of that. And then we just built some beams here, and uh, these were also just a buck a piece. We built these and plied them with some uh, construction adhesive. There's a the doorway there. I still got some modifications to do to that. The lights were free. I got a whole pile in, about 20 of them. I got them from a convenience store just in town. They're remodeling, and I asked what they're doing with their lights. I said, you can have them. So I picked them up. They come with the bulbs and everything, and they all work. They're all like new. Anyway, we're moving on. This is the M50 project. I got some videos going on that. Get on through here. I got my table saw covered up right now because the motorcycles are taking precedence over anything else and then this is my daughter's workbench right there and then this is her drafting board this is where she does all her drawing I made a, a pencil a pencil on the lathe a couple years back three years back something like that but anyway I'm actually thinking about building a couple more and trying to sell them so if anybody's interested they just they just hang up chalkboard pretty neat anyway moving on Got the motor tore down off the M50 on this old workbench I got for free. I was in the bottom end of a garage. Got this in the lower end of a garage. Uh, my aunt, she had a whole bunch of stuff. I was actually take that back. It's actually my uncle's stuff. And she was just wanting to get rid of it, so she gave it to me. It's been nice. I got two of these benches. They're really nice built and everything else. So I'm happy to have these. And got my Chilton, all my uh, old manuals and things like that, cabinet making and all that stuff. So I got these over here and a couple projects I did, a couple little shelves. And over here, that right there I usually use for any kind of tools. I want to do just like a quick grab or whatever. I hang my hammer there and some other things that I use real common. And then my finishes and stuff up there and all my jigs and stuff for my table saw. Another the cross cut sled. And then on over I got my clamp rack I built. It just took a couple minutes to build that same thing over here. Another clamp rack. Somewhere I can hang my levels and all my squares. I got a whole pile of squares on this end. So I got these setting down. These usually set over on this table. But for the time being... There's a bench I built for an outfeed table, just quick crude thing, all made out of free lumber. Well, I actually take that back because first uh, the top cost me a dollar. 
it's kind of dirty right now. It's over. Got some stuff on it that I need to clean up. I worked on cleaning this whole thing up the other day. So, and this is where it kind of ended up there and on the floor. I got to clean all that up too. This is where I keep all my tools and everything, all my free tool boxes and shelves and everything else. And I got a sign wall. I'm going to do this on all the way around, do like a Wayne's Coat type deal with this old barn tent and we're going to do that. And then I'm going to trim the top up there. But I'm not going to get into my toolboxes and everything else. We'll do a video on tools I find that I need most often, and we'll do some of that. Then on over, I got some antique tools up here on my beams. That was the plan for up there. Since it was open space, I figured I could hang some old tools and stuff there, my old Japanese pole saw, which I actually use that. A grinder station. Built that out of small pieces I had laying around, also free. Big old fan. That thing works pretty good. It's a little noisy, but I mean, my shop isn't exciting. I promise you, it's not exciting. It is unique. I'll give it that. It is very unique. You're not going to see any shop like this anywhere else, at least not on YouTube, because I have I've looked and I haven't found anything. So. But that's my shop with just a quick tour, I figure. And then once we get more in the shop, a little bit set up, you know, a little better here. This is going to be my metal shop down here. So everything is going to kind of reflect what I got going on here. Torches, welding, cutting, any kind of welder work. I'm going to have a wood stove over here. I ended up getting a little uh, cook stove. I'm going to put one up there and I'm going to put a barrel stove down here since this is going to be my main area of work. But anyway, that is my shop tour. I want to thank you for inquiring on that. It gave me, you know, the inspiration to do this video. And we'll do this, the top another day once we get it finished. We got to just put up walls and stuff. We'll do all that this winter. So that's pretty much it. If you all have any questions, uh, just leave them down in the comments. And just remember, you've seen all my stuff. I am a... I like the Second Amendment, so don't try and come take my stuff. Just to let you know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by.